All right, good uh, afternoon. Uh, Texas uh, Method Intensity Day for the 19th of April. Uh, squats 5 rep max at 285 pounds. Um, I believe it is my 5 rep max. Uh, so anyways, they were... Uh, I have to look at my diet a little bit intensely. You see my... Got a bit of a belly sticking up over there. Not so good. So, um... And now everybody's looking just at my belly. Quit it! Quit it! Leave it alone! Stop looking! So uh, they were, they felt a little bit easier than last week and I think that's because I was paying attention a lot more to my depth and not just trying to drop down as quickly as I could. I was taking things slow and controlled. Um, I'm still trying to get the feeling for the bounce out of the hole, but I feel personally like if I try to bounce out of the hole, I think that's what's making me go almost last to grass. Uh, or too, uh, way too deep. So, I don't know, I guess it's just finding that fine line in between uh, having a bounce and disengaging uh, the hamstrings of the quads completely and dropping into the hole. So there you go, not too, not too difficult, but I was, uh, I think I may have broken a blood vessel in my nose. I was uh, panting, I was uh, worked. It was, as the name suggests, pretty intense. So here we go with uh, overhead press, one rep max in quotation marks. The reason I say it in quotation marks is because I'm pretty sure that on starting strength and on um, 531 I have pressed 115 uh, and higher. So that's why they get quotes. So I'm trying a different um, stance here and you'll see I kind of twinge my left elbow a little bit. Uh, my, left elbow, my left shoulder a little bit, but it's a lot better than it has been in the past. So basically rolling my shoulders forward, bringing my hands in a little bit for that. I'm going to try and practice that uh, when I can. Now here's the pity. Uh, at the end of this, I hit, to turn off my camera, I actually turned it off instead of um, pressing on the shutter button for it to store, so it misses the last rep. I'm also going to apologize for the noise going on upstairs right now. My girlfriend is wearing high heel shoes. Uh, so anyways, form, my form is a bit of a concern, but I believe that it's due to a weaker lower back and the fact that I pretty much skipped out on 315, 320, 325, and 330 pounds and went straight from 315 to, uh, to 340 and now down to 335. So I'm thinking of adding in good mornings, um, heavy good mornings to the uh, to my Monday workout, which wouldn't be so bad, just to kind of tighten up uh, and get my lower back a little bit stronger. I know that it'll come along, but I want to help my, my lower back out as much as possible. Um, and I don't think uh, with just having uh, glute ham raises and chins on that day that an extra, um, an extra maybe five by five of uh, of uh, good mornings would be all that detrimental. Although I'll probably start out with three by eight or something along those lines, um, or a three by five even. Anyways, so here we go with rep three. I believe this is, um, and you'll see my form's not. It hasn't been too bad, uh, but I could probably step uh, step in to the bar a tiny, tiny bit more. Uh, keep my back a little bit straighter. Uh, there, there I pulled a little bit with my back and that wasn't bad, or that wasn't great. So, there you have it, I mean... This is about as much time as I was taking between uh, my 340 pulls too. Uh, so it gives you, um, gives you an idea. So I'm not taking 30 set well. I may be taking about 30, 30, 40 seconds in between each rep. Just kind of, you know, settle in and get back and everything. So here's my last. This is a bit painful to watch, but it didn't hurt. Um, and on my fifth rep, I redeemed myself, I, I think. So I cut my back a lot straighter than it was on this rep. So uh, this back straight. But here we go. Here, uh, oh, pull it with your back, Matt. Oh, that was bad. Have a great one, guys.